Researcher Marco Figueroa discovered a vulnerability that threatens millions of people using Google Gemini AI. Now, every Gmail summary has become a potential phishing trap, and victims think these are real warnings from Google, and you could be one of them. Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. By the end of this video, you will understand why this Google Gemini vulnerability could be the most dangerous AI security threat we've seen this year, how hackers are using invisible text to manipulate millions of users, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from becoming their next victim. On July 13, 2025, the cybersecurity world was shaken by a revelation that would change how we think about AI safety forever. Marco Figueroa, Mozilla's Gen AI Bug Bounty Programs Manager, had just uncovered something that Google never saw coming. Working through Mozilla's Odin Bug Bounty Program, a specialized platform focused on generative AI vulnerabilities, Figueroa discovered that Google's most trusted AI assistant could be turned into a weapon against its own users. But here's what makes this discovery truly terrifying. The attack requires no suspicious links, no malicious attachments, and no complex hacking tools. Just pure, invisible manipulation of text. Think about it. How many times have you asked Gemini to summarize an email for you? How much do you trust that summary? What if I told you that summary could contain completely fabricated security warnings designed to steal your credentials? But Figueroa's discovery was just the beginning of a much larger problem. The attack Figueroa discovered is called phishing for Gemini, and it exploits a fundamental weakness in how AI processes text. Let me walk you through exactly how this works, because understanding this could save you from becoming a victim. An attacker sends you what appears to be a completely normal email. Maybe it's about a work project, a newsletter, or a simple inquiry. But hidden within that email's code is something sinister. Invisible instructions written in white text on a white background. These hidden commands are wrapped in special HTML tags, particularly admin tags, that trick Gemini into treating them as high-priority system directives. The genius and the horror of this attack is that you literally cannot see these instructions. They're invisible to human eyes. When you click Summarize this email in Gmail, Gemini dutifully reads the entire message, including these hidden commands. And here's where the real manipulation begins. Gemini follows those invisible instructions and appends a fabricated security warning to its otherwise accurate summary. In Figueroa's proof-of-concept demonstration, Gemini displayed a message warning, your Gmail password has been compromised. Call 1-800-555-1212 immediately. The victim sees this warning in Gemini's summary and, trusting Google's AI, calls the number, walking straight into a voice phishing trap. But the implications of this vulnerability extend far beyond just Gmail. What makes this vulnerability particularly dangerous is its scope. This isn't just a Gmail problem. It affects the entire Google Workspace ecosystem. Docs, Slides, Drive, and any Google product where Gemini analyzes third-party content becomes a potential attack vector. Think about the supply chain implications here. Newsletters, CRM systems, automated ticketing emails. Any service that sends emails could become an injection vector. One compromised SAAS account could potentially send thousands of these invisible phishing commands to unsuspecting users. Security researchers are calling this the email macros of the AI era, a powerful feature that, when left unsecured, becomes an executable threat. And here's the most concerning part. Google admits they have implemented mitigations against similar attacks reported since 2024, yet this technique remains viable. It's a cat-and-mouse game between AI developers and security researchers, and right now, the attackers are winning. But why is this attack so effective, and why haven't traditional security measures stopped it? Traditional email security systems are designed to catch malicious links, suspicious attachments, and known phishing patterns. But this attack bypasses all of those defenses because it doesn't rely on any of them. The malicious content isn't in the email itself, it's in how the AI interprets and responds to hidden instructions. 
it's like having a translator who secretly adds threatening messages to their translations without you knowing. This represents a new category of cyber attack called Indirect Prompt Injection, or IPI. The core vulnerability is that AI models can't distinguish between trusted system instructions and untrusted third-party data, especially when that data is designed to be deceptive. Security experts classify this under what's called authority framing. Attackers use admin tags to trick the AI into treating their commands as high-priority system directives. It's social engineering aimed at the machine itself. The trust factor makes this particularly devastating. When users see a warning in a Gemini summary, they're not just trusting the email sender, they're trusting Google's AI. That's a level of credibility that's almost impossible to question. But Google isn't sitting idle in the face of this threat. When contacted about this vulnerability, Google directed security researchers to their blog post about prompt injection mitigations. A Google spokesperson stated, We are constantly hardening our already robust defenses through red teaming exercises that train our models to defend against these types of adversarial attacks. Google has implemented several defense layers, machine learning classifiers to detect malicious prompts, markdown sanitization to strip dangerous formatting, and user confirmation frameworks for sensitive tasks. However, Google also confirmed they have seen no evidence of this attack being used in the wild, yet. The company representative clarified that some mitigations are currently being implemented or about to be deployed. But security experts warned that Google's response may not be enough to address the fundamental problem. The issue isn't just about better filters, it's about the core architecture of how AI processes mixed trusted and untrusted content. And this vulnerability has implications that extend far beyond Google's ecosystem. This Google Gemini vulnerability is part of a broader trend that cybersecurity experts are calling AI weaponization. Criminals are increasingly leveraging AI not just to create attacks, but to hijack the very AI tools we use to protect ourselves. Recent reports show that attackers have used other AI tools, like Vercel's V0, to instantly generate pixel-perfect phishing sites. This instant phishing capability removes the need for technical skills, allowing less sophisticated criminals to create flawless fakes of login pages for major brands. Google's own Threat Intelligence Group reported that state-sponsored hackers from over 20 countries are experimenting with Gemini for malicious purposes. Iranian APT groups in particular have been using Gemini to craft phishing campaigns and conduct reconnaissance on defense organizations. The ease of AI abuse is effectively democratizing advanced cybercrime, moving powerful tools from nation states to the broader criminal ecosystem. But what can you do to protect yourself? Security experts recommend several strategies to protect against these AI-powered attacks. First, treat AI summaries as informational, not authoritative. Never act on urgent security warnings that appear in AI-generated summaries without independent verification. Second, if your organization uses Google Workspace, consider implementing HTML sanitization to strip invisible styling from incoming emails and deploy post-processing filters that scan AI output for suspicious content like phone numbers or urgent security language. Third, enhance your security awareness training to include AI-specific threats. The old rules about suspicious links and attachments aren't enough anymore. Users need to understand that AI responses can be manipulated too. For enterprise users, security teams should treat AI assistance as part of their attack surface, implementing monitoring and sandboxing just like any other system component. The phishing for Gemini vulnerability represents more than just a technical bug. It's a warning about our AI-dependent future. As AI becomes more integrated into our daily workflows, the line between data and instruction continues to blur. Marco Figueroa's discovery proves that prompt injections are becoming the new attack vector of choice for cyber criminals. And unlike traditional malware, these attacks exploit our trust in AI systems themselves. The race is now on between AI developers implementing better safeguards and attackers finding new ways to exploit AI behavior. 
Google's response will likely set the standard for how the industry handles AI security vulnerabilities going forward. But one thing is certain. As AI assistants become more powerful and ubiquitous, securing them becomes not just a technical challenge, but a critical defense against the future of cybercrime. The next time you see an AI summary with an urgent security warning, remember Marco Figueroa's discovery. That helpful AI assistant might just be following someone else's invisible instructions. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and remember, in the age of AI, even your most trusted digital assistants can be turned against you. Make sure you're subscribed to AI Handbook for more critical insights into AI security and the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence threats.